like to show you a few exercises that you can do to become familiar with the black note layout on your piano. In order to become familiar with a keyboard in general, you need to know the black notes really well. So I'd like to show you just a few exercises to get you started. Now, of course, there's an infinite number of exercises you could come up with, but I'm just going to give you an idea to, um, of, of some things you can do to get going. Um, as you can see, the black notes are divided into groups of twos and groups of threes, and I'm sure you, you recognize that, but if you haven't put your fingers on those notes, your hands and your brain have not become as familiar as you need to be with them. So, here's what you could do. Take the, the groups of two black notes and start playing them with just the right hand. Go all the way down, and then back up. Do the same thing with the left hand. You can start down low. You should probably go slow if you're a beginner. Okay. I'm just going fast to save a little time, but you could go as slow as you need to. Uh, you could do right hand alternating with left. You could do single notes. You could do single notes with just one hand. single notes with the left hand. You can do single notes at the same time from two ends of the keyboard. This is a lot harder. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not such a good idea. Um, you could do different fingering combinations. I was just using number two and number three. What if I use number four and number five? And if I use a number one and a number two, different directions on each group. Cool. So you can see there's just a bunch of different little things you can do, but do the exercises on the groups of two, get familiar with them, jump around, learn how to find them quickly. And then do the same thing with the groups of three. I'm going to play all the sets of three. I'm alternating. using number two, number three, and number four in both hands. Uh, you could do just the right hand, left hand, and again, I'm just going fast, but you should take it nice and slow to get familiar with it. Um, after you've done a few blocking like that, go ahead and play single notes. As you can see, you can do it alternating your hands. You could do just single hand. You can use different fingering combinations, like a number one, number two, number three. You can play the notes in a different order now that there's three of them. Oops, I missed one. I missed one again. I need to practice. Now the left hand and the right hand alternating is kind of fun on those. I just did two different combinations. So the three, the three note combination adds a, a little bit of sparkle because you can do different things. The whole point is do exercises for the groups of two, do exercises for the groups of three, get to know the layout and get to know the feel of it. And you'll notice that it feels different when you're up here, it feels different when you're down here. So get to know those notes and there's a couple tunes you can learn um, on the black notes that'll help you. It's a little more fun than just playing exercises. You can play Mary Had a Little Lamb like this. On the three black notes, use your right hand number three, number two, and number one. And of course, you can do it with the left hand too, number three, four, and five. same time. And so on. You could also play Twinkle Twinkle on the black notes, which is a good one because it uses all five black notes plus one white note. So let me play that real quick.
starts with the right hand, then you could learn it with the left hand. And then try with both hands. Okay, so you can see there's a couple tunes you can play, there's a whole bunch of exercises you can play, but get to know your black notes. If you're a very beginner, spend a week just working on black note goofing around because the black notes are the key to learning your keyboard. And uh, once you get to know that, you can start doing some other things. Uh, let me goof around on the black notes and say goodbye. Mm -hmm.